Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm not in today, so I thought I would try making a video for you um, on how to roll your film and put it into the development tank. And you're going to need to share supplies today, but I have scattered around the reels, some practice film, some tanks, some changing bags, and I'm hoping that you can all work together um, and help each other. So I'm going to show you how to do this. First, this is practice film. So it has been film that has been sacrificed, if you will, for the purpose of learning. And this is the reel. Um, it's set up for the 120 film so that they go together. And I'm going to show you first with my eyes open and then my eyes shut how you do this. Because when you're developing your film, the film and the tank and the reel and everything goes into the changing bag and you cannot see what you're doing. So this takes a great deal of patience and a great deal of practice. So be gentle and kind with yourself. So I'm gonna move this camera down a little so you can see what I'm doing. Oop. It fell over. Okay, so the film, once it's off of the reel, which when we do this for the real deal, I will show you the whole thing. Um, but today is practice. The reel, let's see if you can see this, has these little triangular things that I call nubbies. Um, and you want to align those nubbies so that they're parallel, right? They're, they're across from each other. And then you take the film and you need to slide that film underneath the nubbies. And then you need to pull it up over the ball bearings. You know that it's attached over the ball bearings if you can tug on it gently and it doesn't fall off, okay? Next thing, you're going to, and I'm gonna move the camera down a little so I'm not holding my shoulders up too high. The next thing you wanna do is gently put your thumbs over the nubbies, but technically not really touching the film. But if you touch the film, it's fine. And you're going to advance slowly the film onto the reel and it goes on like a spiral so that no parts of the film will ever touch. Now the curl at the bottom can be a little bit unwieldy so you need to kind of manage that. So notice my fingers are trying to keep that curl from going kind of haywire. And then you just gently and try to relax because this can be a little bit stressful, especially when you're doing it with your eyes shut. Um, you advance until the film is all the way on. And you can look at it through the, the spirally-like area and you can see that the film has thread itself into those spaces. Everybody good? So that's the first thing you're gonna try. Next thing you're gonna try to do is with your eyes shut. Now, if you're someone who feels a little woozy when you close your eyes and you're standing up, I suggest sitting down. Um, also, to take the film off, just pull this out and pull. Okay, so now I'm gonna do it with my eyes shut and hopefully you'll be able to see this. I am going to stand up for the process, but I'm gonna lean this down so you can see the film better. Okay, so my eyes are gonna be shut. So my eyes are now shut and I'm looking for those triangular nubbies lined up. Then I'm going to take the film and I use my belly. Um, and you can use your belly in the changing bag too because you can stand up to do this process. I put it underneath the nubbies, over the ball bearings. I give a tug and then I place my fingers so that strategically I can keep the film on the reel and manage the curl at the same time. And I wouldn't suggest going too fast. Um, this is about as fast as I would go. Good. 
Good? Okay, so that was with my eyes closed. Now, certainly you, um, any one of you right now could just pause this for the class and you could practice that step. But for the purpose of continue, continuing this video, I'm gonna show you. Uh, this is what we call a changing bag. And each of these changing bags are slightly different. Well, not each of them, but we have like three or four different types in here. But essentially, it's a two chamber system. And there's zippers, or there's zippers and Velcro, but you'll see. What you wanna do is open up the first chamber, the inner chamber, and you're gonna put the reel and the film in there and practice in the changing bag. So you put everything in. So I'm gonna try to attempt to move this down so you can see the table. Okay. So I have the changing bag open. I'm gonna put the film and the reel in the bag and I'm gonna zip up, fully zip up each chamber and or Velcro depending on which one you have. Okay, so now everything that I'm going to practice is in there, the film and the reel. Your arms go in the elastic area. Now some of these changing bags need new elastics, which I will fix, but for today, practicing is not a big deal if the elastic is not tight. So I'm in the changing bag and I'm gonna do that same thing I did with my eyes closed, but in here. Everybody good? Once you're done and it's on the reel, you can then obviously unzip. And I didn't do it, so, you know, they're separate, but Everybody good? I'm gonna show you the next step. And I'm going to attempt to do it facing down. So the next step is this. To fully develop your, I mean to roll your film, sorry. You need a tank. You need the film, but obviously it will be in its own wrapped up canister. You need a reel, a funnel, and a center column. And I hope I just didn't repeat myself there, but I might have. Now, one step you can do before it goes in the changing bag is you could put the center column onto the reel. So that's one step you can do in daylight. Everything else is gonna have to be done in the changing bag. So, just for the purpose of showing you this, I'm gonna do it with my eyes closed, so I'll fumble my way through so you can see. But I'm gonna take the reel and I'm gonna find the nubbies up and over the ball bearings, position myself to get the film onto the reel. Okay, it's fully on. Now, this is incredibly important. This nubby, again, I call it a nubby, has to go down into the tank, which means the extended part is up. I find the tank and I drop in the reel with the center column. Then I look for, or feel for, frankly, the um, funnel. I drop it in and then I have to turn it clockwise until it clicks. Make sure it clicks. And then in the changing bag, I turn it upside down and give it a little wiggle just to make sure that this is on fully. If it's not on fully and you take it out and you go like this and it falls apart, you're going to expose your film to light and therefore it will no longer have its images um, on there. It'll go black. So when you wanna practice this in the changing bag, what needs to go in there, again, is the film, the center column, which again, you can put onto the reel ahead of time, the tank, and the funnel. And let me just explain. Once the funnel is on, this container is light tight. Liquid can go in it, the chemistry we're gonna use, but 
light cannot. If light goes down through the funnel into the center column, all it does is bounce around within the, funnel, uh, the center column, but it never touches the film. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do today after you watch history. So um, I'm gonna have everything in Google Classroom, including this video. If one of you would be willing to do airplay and show the video and also look at instructions together on Classroom, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, I hope you have a good day and I should be back on Tuesday. Take care.